So here we go, heading into week 10, and this is three quarterbacks. I'm looking to drop heading into the week. The first guy's Matthew Stafford. He had COVID all week, and then he left the game with a possible concussion versus the Minnesota Vikings in week 9, and now in week 10, Stafford's got a pretty tough matchup versus the Washington football team. That has the 22nd least fantasy points they give up. And Stafford, who knows if he's going to play. He's been inconsistent most of the year. He just doesn't put together four or five good games in a row. He finished with 10 points in Minnesota before he got hurt. With 211 yards, a touchdown, and two windows. And there's a lot of quarterbacks out there that I think could be more consistent. And now that the bye weeks are winding down in the next two or three weeks, Stafford, he's a guy... You're not really going to use him much. He still owns 68% of leagues, but after this week, especially if he's out with a concussion, you're going to see that number go down. The next guy is Ryan Tannehill. It might come a surprise to people, but I've been saying now the last few weeks, Tannehill, the numbers have been going down. We saw it again in this game versus a tough Chicago defense. 158 yards and two passing touchdowns with 18 fantasy points on the day for Tannehill. But now, he's got a tough schedule the next three weeks. Indianapolis, they give up the least amount of fantasy points to quarterbacks. Then Baltimore, and then Indianapolis again. I feel like the Titans, they're going to go back, to, I've been saying for weeks now, to running the ball heavy, relying on the defense, and giving Tannehill limited passes. And that's what it looked like today. The defense did the job. They were running the ball a lot, even though Henry didn't have a good game at all. And that's what happened in that game. And now with tough games, with grinded out opponents who play good defense and stuff, it's going to be difficult to see Tanner. He'll have great games and he'll have mediocre games at best, in my opinion, like he's had the last three weeks from anywhere 18 to 22 fantasy points. So he's the second quarterback I'm going to drop. Is Ryan Tannehill and the third final guy I'm looking to drop is Phillip Rivers and in the Indianapolis Colts. We didn't see him have a good game versus Baltimore, but that was predictable. Last week he had a 28th fantasy point day, and the week before that, 30. So Rivers was getting into his own. He got picked up in only 2% of leagues. But he's a guy I just can't trust at all as Rivers. His weapons are limited. The running back is a mess back there. I know he's got a decent matchup versus Tennessee next week. But it's a Thursday night football game, a quick turnaround for Tennessee, and I don't like any of these quarterbacks in that matchup. So Rivers, if you have him, which he's not owned in many leagues, but he's a guy with drop. I don't expect him to do anything, really. His ceiling is probably 20, 25 at most, even though he cracked that two weeks in a row. But those were plus matchups, and now this week versus Tennessee, I don't think he'll have that good of a matchup, plus the weather might be cold and brick out there. So Philip Rivers, he's a guy I'm looking to get away from, even in two quarterback leagues, if you play in that. He's just a guy, either keep him on the bench in those or drop him. So that's three quarterbacks I'm going to drop heading into week 10.